everyone. This is Sherry. How you doing? I just wanted to do a little craft with me. I'm in my craft room today, uh, working on work working on using up my scraps from my journals. I'm not finished with my journals yet, but you know I have my little basket here with my goodies organized that I'm working on with these journals. Here's the journals, and I pulled last night. I pulled all the bits of paper out. So I'll show you, I wanted to, sh you know, do a little craft with me and show you what I'm doing. So on this piece of coffee dyed paper, I'm collaging some of the extra bits. And I thought it would be really pretty because there, see all the different colors here. If you've never done this, this is really fun it's in, with anything. But um, I especially like different little bits of paper like this with the different colors. And then when you cut them up, they look so cool. So, um... Let's work on this for a minute, and then I'll show you the bits I have finished. This is trash. I kind of already cleaned up here and uh, got everything organized. But see, I put a piece of game paper right here. So these are all the little scraps from the game papers that I used in the journals. I'm they're like score. I'm calling them. They're like score sheets, but they're actually um, what you played the game on for this particular game. Oh, here's a piece of book page. I put that on there. That's something different. That's what I was looking for. Something that I don't have on here yet. And I'm using my uh, craft bond and my art glitter glue to glue down on here, depending on what the paper is that I'm gluing down. So let's see. And it's kind of an experiment, too, to see what, what uh, we'll glue down with what glue. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, but I'm trying to put different colors of paper next to each other too. So, and of course overlap since it is a collage. You want to kind of overlap a little bit. I'm trying to remember to do that. So that's a piece of book page. I've already got a piece of wrapping paper on here. So, um, this is a strip. I'm just going to keep that for now. I might throw that away. There's another piece of wrapping paper. Wrapping paper. This is wrapping paper on coffee dyed paper because I that's what I used in the journal for pages. Some of the pages, I uh, wanted them a little thicker. So I glued the wrapping paper onto coffee dyed paper. And that way you don't have that slick back either that's like on, on wrapping paper. So you can write on the back better or glue or whatever. I already used a piece of piano roll right here and right here. So that's what that is. Um, this flower, that's for later. I could put this clock somewhere. Uh, coffee dyed paper. I'm going to put that over there because that's not scraps, I don't think. I got out some coffee dyed paper in case I needed it, so that's over there. Wrapping paper already used. These are all extra cutoffs from the wrapping paper. Oh, here's another postage stamp. That's we might use that somewhere. So I already used some of that. Here's some more of the coffee backed. I used a piece of this ledger right here. Oh, here's a receipt. This would be cool to use. Okay, let's glue these bits down. Here's a blank spot right here. Shall we put the clock there? Let me um, save the clock and the postage stamp for later in case we need to fill in little little spots. And this is this was from the ledger. This is not like my personal um, receipt or anything. This was from one of the ledgers, and I took it out. Um, off the ledger page and so I can glue it down like this or I can glue it up with the numbers showing which I think I will glue it up with the numbers showing so I'm going to put it right down here um, I want it to overlap a little bit but I don't know if I want it to overlap that much see how much it's overlapping I don't and I don't know if it will glue down onto this wrapping paper either so um, let me, let me tear that a little bit right here and I'm using my ruler to tear sometimes. So let me just tear this right here. So, um, this is just a little craft with me video while I use up my scraps. I thought maybe you would enjoy crafting with me today. That's a scrap now, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, cause I like to, you know, if I'm not videoing, I like to turn someone on that I can listen to and maybe get some ideas from and just see how they do things, maybe different from what I do or things like that. So I usually always have uh, 
I must always have a YouTube video going when I'm crafting. And uh, once in a great while, I will turn on Netflix or YouTube, uh, like, movie or something. But uh, usually it's almost always a YouTube video, crafting video. <laughs> so, Oh, that glued down really nice. Even on the wrapping paper with the craft bond, it just went right down. Did you see that? That was nice. I wasn't sure. Okay, here's a piece of music, which I already used some music here and here. So I'm going to put that to the side, although that's a very nice color on there. Uh, here's the piece of receipt that we just tore off. Here's a piece of newspaper, like, or something. Looks like newspaper. This would be nice to put right here. And we'll just about have it covered. Cool. Okay, I'm going to tear this right here. This feels old and delicate, a bit delicate. So great for collaging, right? Okay, so what's everyone doing today? This is Sunday that I'm doing this, so yesterday was Riley Day, and today is Crafting Day, and Catch Up with Etsy Day. <laughs> I did my cleaning before Riley came over, so I got my house cleaning done. I mean, a lot of house cleaning, and I had a snow day on Friday, so I got to stay home, and I really, really needed that day off to catch up with things, and it, it's awesome. I've got things organized and clean, and it's great. I wish I had every Friday off, I think, to get things uh, caught up with. But uh, at least I had last Friday off because of the snow. Here in North Carolina, we had a little snow, not, not, not a lot. It's already gone, but <laughs> it was it snowed big, fluffy, pretty white flakes, so that was pretty to watch. And actually, it's the perfect snow. It gave me a day off. And now it went away, so it's not on the ground anymore. So that's the perfect snow in my mind uh, because, you know, then you can drive or I can drive the next day. This stamp is a, has two layers on it, so I don't know. I'm going to put that to the side. This one, too. See, I can take it off of here, though. I think I will. It's sewn on, but I don't think I'm going to use it like that. I've done a couple things like that from this grungy pack that were sewn onto something that I didn't really want to use. So that's just a thought or maybe an idea. You don't have to use things in maybe their intended way. You can just use it in your own way, however you want. Okay, that's, I wanna make, I wanna even that up right there. Okay, so I think that's ready to go to. I like this stamp and I like that you can see that it was airmail and on an air airmail envelope it looks like. Okay, more music, which we already have. More ledger. So we've been through all of our scraps. We need only one little fill-in spot. Oh, two spots right here and right here. So there's some pattern paper, pattern tissue paper here. Let's put that like right there. And this should glue down with just some glue, craft bond glue stick, which here it is. It was thin, so I had to be careful not to rip it. All right, there we go. Great. So let's see how this sticks down. Let's put it like this. It has sizes on here, large and extra large. <laughs> Oh, that went down nice with the craft bond. Oh, there's I left a little square right there. Why did I not put that up? Oh, well, I have to put something right there and right here. I have this. This is the spine from one of the books that I couldn't, I haven't figured out what to do with yet. I don't, gosh, I don't think I want to put it there. I think I want to do something else with that, like, and plus I don't know how. It's very, very thin. It's like a very thin piece of fabric. And these are, oh, these are wrapping paper. This is, 
Let's use this little piece here. Right there. It's kind of the same color. And is it gluing down? It doesn't seem to be gluing down well. I notice I have to Sometimes I have to let it dry, like, but sometimes I need to add art glitter glue. Is it going to stick? Hmm. I think it might. It's not popping up. Okay, so I need something there. Let's see this stamp. Maybe right there. This is thin paper that it's on. It's from a postage stamp book. Okay, put that right there. Okay. And then I need something right here. Let's see. This is another stamp. Not quite long enough. What about this clock? Not quite long enough. I don't really want to put that there. Okay, let me see. I can either make a strip or maybe I have a strip. I don't want to put... Well, I guess I could put... Could put... I guess I could put a piece of wrapping paper right there. Is it wide enough? So, um, I guess I kind of would like to overlap a little bit more. Let me get a bigger, look for a bigger strip of something. Um, music, newspaper. Yeah, I think that would be nice. Right there. Okay. It's a little bit different colored too, so you get that variation in colors. Okay. Put some glue on here, and then uh, I'm probably not going to, I'll show you my finished pieces, and then I'm probably going to be done with this video because, you know, you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> my camera's going to cut me off. Okay, that looks nice though, doesn't it? Oops. Gotta let it dry, Sherry. There we go. It's still drying, I'm sure. Yeah, or I might need some glitter glue under there. That dry paper might have just soaked up my glue, <laughs> my glue stick. I need some wet glue or something. I just want to cut this off. I want to see what it looks like without this sticking out. This extra. There we go. I like all the different colors. I might go, I'll probably go over it and make sure everything is glued down and, you know, tuck some little art glitter glue under where if I think, see any, like I see this sticking up right here. In fact, I'll do it right now. Let's do it right now together. This right here sticking up. That's not really sticking up, but that newspaper was. Okay, anything else? Trying to be loose? Not really. Everything else is stuck down good, even this paper that we put down at the end here. Receipt. Receipt needs a little bit right here. At the end. Put some art glitter glue under there. Wrapping paper is good. Uh oh, this needs some. This old paper, newspaper, that must have soaked up my glue, my glue stick. All right. 
So there we go. That's a way to use up some of your scraps. Just collage it on a piece of paper and cut it up into journaling spots. And, or you can even um, you know, cut it up into little pieces that you want to glue down into po pockets and things. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on this, make sure this doesn't come up. But anyway, here's the pieces that I finished yesterday. And excuse any glue on my fingers, you know, I've just been gluing. So um, last night I was working on these and this morning, and then this too. This is a little key tag that um, I punched out. I punched out, a, I cut out a flower that I put in, in the journal here. Okay, so I accidentally glued this on the wrong side, this pocket. I made this little like collage pocket here, and I put glue over here. I was like, okay, I didn't wanna do that, but I want it on this page. So I went ahead and put it down, but it opens over here. So I had to make a real skinny little journaling spot here. <laughs> so I, made it on this um, piece of coffee dyed paper. I think it's really cute. I kind of folded it up and it's a pretty piece of coffee dyed paper. It has some pink on there and I ripped the edge to look pretty and then I fussy cut out this flower and put it there and I just think that looks so pretty and I tucked it in here for a journaling spot right there. I thought it looked beautiful in here. And then so the rest of that page, I had a couple pieces that I didn't want to like throw away or you know add to my scraps. So. I got out my key tags and I punched some little circles out of that page. So I punched that little flower out and then there was a bunch of like little purple flowers like in a field and I punched some of those out and put them on that side of the key tag. And then I punched a little hole with my crocodile, a little tiny hole right there. It's a new hole because I covered up the old hole that was in here and took off the little ring, this little ring that was in there. So, and then, so now I'm going to put some baker's twine on there and have a little, have a little key tag, like a charm for my journal. Or I could put a, you know what, I could put like a little uh, bulb pin in there too, which I might do that so I can pin it onto uh, something in the journal here. But I made these, this flashcard was in the grungy pack. Wanted to use that, that up, all these bits were. So that's how I used those up. I made a little pocket this is a little pocket uh, right here, like a library pocket, made out of a flashcard with two bits and a button, all from the grungy pack. So I used that up in that way. These uh, playing cards were in here, and I like see the cute pictures on this side. And on this side, I put uh, some receipt paper, and this is some piano paper. And this strip was from the grungy pack, and that was from the grungy pack. So I just decorated with those strips. Uh, this was in the grungy pack. I like the airplane and I covered this. Oh, I put a strip on this side to decorate This I was just using up bits and pieces. So that's a piece of the ledger uh, Coffee dyed paper and a fussy cut flower from the grungy pack that flower There was like a flower page from a calendar or something in there So I just fussy cut out the flower and put it right there and there was another one that I cut out and made a tag and It's already in the journals right here it's in this pocket right here that's the other one with ledger and a flower on coffee dyed and it's got cardstock in between to give it a nice solid surface but and I added a little piece of fabric there at the, as the topper so uh, let's see that was just an example so now um, I just have these bits that I showed you here to use up from the grungy pack and from scraps from this journal. Uh, probably most of it now, or maybe just, yeah, most of it might be scraps now from the journal. And just a few pieces left from the grungy pack. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue to work on this and use these up and clean up. And I'll show you what I end up doing when I come back maybe for the flip through this needs, I can feel this is kind of like wet feeling. <laughs> you know, I did use some wet glue on here. And I need to make sure it dries and doesn't come apart. And then I'll cut this up and show you when I do my flip through of these journals. I'll show you what I ended up doing with our collage page here. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.